Hello, I'll be showing you how to do a zebra print makeup design. Okay, so I'm going to start off by applying an eyeshadow base. This will just keep the your actual eyeshadow in place and make sure it doesn't smudge. Um, so I'm just going to use my finger and apply it to all of my eyelid. And I'm going to get a palette, so loads of different colours. And I'm going to get my eyeshadow applicator and apply it to a white creamy colour I have in the top corner here. So corner and then outwards and stop halfway. I'm going to do that same with this side. Get a pink colour, so I'm going to choose this colour at the bottom here. And gently I'm going to put pink onto the other side, so starting from the middle and working my way outwards. And same with the other side. I have a brush like this. Um, it's short but um, medium wide and I'm just going to start from the middle and just push back and forth back and forth and completely over like this that's so you don't see a harsh um, white to pink line this is going to be more blended okay so now I need a really thin brush such as this one more natural kind of palette so I'm going to get my darkest brown that I have and use my thin brush and just get a little bit of the eyeshadow and just apply it to the corners here and kind of go towards the centre with my um, eyeshadow applicator just go over the corners again We're going to do liquid eyeliner um, going straight across. I've got a thin brush and I'm going to start from the corners and then go all the way across. Now I'm going to apply even more white to the eyelids and this time I'm going to do the white so that it goes right up to the brow. Now I'm going to get a pink highliner. And I'm just going to apply inside the lash line. And same with the other. Metallic Eyes Pencil. And I'm just going to apply it to the bottom. I'm not going to go all the way into the corner, but... And join it to the um, flick. White eyeliner, which is a two-in-one, which I need to get a new one of. It's half white and half black. And I'm just going to put it um, in the corners where I haven't put anything on yet. I'm going to just apply a little bit more white into the lash line, but like in the inside. Just um, in the corners, just a tiny little bit, but not too much, so I still want to see the pink. Okay, so now I'm going to get my um, short medium brush and just brush over the eyes again <laughs> I 
and I'm just going to brush underneath so any of the excess eyeshadow that I put on earlier if it's dropped underneath it just brushes off um, brush white all the way to the edge of my face right to the end so when I go across I have the white um, and I'm just going to put a little bit under not much but just some and I'm just dabbing it um, around really big powder brush and I'm just gonna um, brush in the white a bit more so it blends in with the skin all the way out and one here going all the way out the um, thin liquid eyeliner brush is good and easy to move around so you can get um, thin lines as well so um, I'm gonna start by doing any random line so I'll probably have one coming off here And now I'm going to do a, another line. And I've decided to make sure that all my lines go um, in the same direction. Because maybe having it a bit too random might um, lose the effect. Um, so yeah. Um, basically done what I've done with this eye with this foundation. Eye. It's just a simple powder. Um, just dab it on around the eye area. Um, so like here but not actually on the eye area. And onto the cheeks and then same with the other side. The nose. and the forehead an eyebrow pencil um, so I'm just going to go over lightly and make it a little bit more darker I'm going to get a mascara with a big brush like this one um, and drag the Eyelashes up I like to apply two coats of that Apply a light gloss and I've chosen pink to match my um, nails. It's the same kind of color Just finished the makeup design I wouldn't recommend this look for just a normal day out maybe um for a party like a fancy dress party um but this is what it looks like at the end